how to beat the angry video game nerd adventures. Tips from the Game Masters at the Backloggery. Oh no! The nerd and his friends were playing a bad game and got pulled inside. It's up to the angry video game nerd and you to rescue his best friends and escape video game land. First you'll explore the intro level where a fairy will guide you. These elixirs will restore one health point. They're sometimes placed in areas beyond your reach. Judge carefully if it's worth the risk. These toasters are also important. If you lose a life, you'll restart your quest from that point. The skull and crossbones blocks will be your worst enemy as you move across video game land. They cause instant death, so be sure to avoid them at all costs. We travel to the future and rescue Guitar Guy. These beams of electricity will defeat you instantly, just like the skull and crossbones. Time your walk in between each one correctly, shoot the jellyfish and the robos. Pick up the gremlin power-up. Using it will stop everything in its tracks that's on screen. He is especially useful in this upcoming section. Instead of jumping on the disappearing blocks, go right and use your last gremlin to jump over the lasers. You'll find Guitar Guy hiding behind the couch. Once you've rescued him, the nerd can take control of him. Continue right and pick up the elixir, an extra life. Timing is critical with these disappearing blocks. Pick up the tank man and use it on these jellyfish. Once you reach the platform, you'll jump onto a flying surfboard. Dodge the incoming eyeballs and D missiles. Shoot everything. Use Guitar Guy to destroy the ring of little faces. Now switch back to the nerd and fire with all your might. Fantasy Zone is where Mike, the nerd's best friend, has been captured. Don't take this first ladder. You won't be able to escape the trap. The mushrooms will cause you to bounce, so be cautious. If you spend too long on them, they will knock you into the birds dropping bombs. Climb the ladder into the dungeon, touch the toaster, and go right. This is a shortcut. There's the key. Open the gate and you're immediately faced with another. Jump up and to the left here. Once you reach the top, grab the elixir and the key. Watch these blocks closely. They follow a pattern. Look before you jump. These firewalls take perfect timing. Watch. Shoot the crystal ball to open the door. If you skip the ladder, you can shoot through the wall with Guitar Guy's Wave Shot. This will open a top secret area. It's Mike! His laser sword's uses are limited, but he can see hidden blocks with his Invisovision. Take the key and run. The blocks will fall behind you. Don't go for this elixir. The walls will come in and crush you. Before you pick up this key, you can catch your breath in the corner. You'll be safe there. Before jumping on the pterodactyl, use Mike's Invisovision to find this secret area. Thank goodness for the extra lives and elixirs. Once on the pterodactyl, avoid all the skull blocks and birds. Grab this elixir if you need it. Look out for the level guardian's waves of flames. When it's close to being defeated, it will also send skull blocks at you. We're tipping now! After it just came here. I didn't do it so you can do it. I am! I'm tipping! Come on. the ladder instead of going down it. Switch to Mike and cut through the walls with his laser sword. You've found Bees Man. He can jump two times in a row and has a stronger attack than the other.
stupid. I can do what I want. Adam! Oyster? The bees man here, he can defeat these giant snowmen easily. Use his two jump to make it over the giant snowballs. These pink blocks will fall after you touch them, so don't let your ego get the best of you and get moving. Here's a pro tip. If you find yourself sliding, press the jump button so you jump straight up. This is helpful when moving between these pillars of fire. Once you're in the clouds, inch forward and shoot the jumping birds just as they appear on the screen. Use Guitar Guy to defeat the evil Santa Claus that's trying to give you bad presents. Stay in your Guitar Guy form as you ride on Santa's back. His wave shots come in very handy here. Watch out for the skull blocks and spikes. You're almost to the level guardian. You don't want to get hit now. The Nerd's Blaster comes in handy against the Grim Reaper. Shoot at a diagonal angle to hit. Your limited range of vision and disappearing blocks will be your greatest foes in this haunted mansion. Don't be a punk and take the extra time to plan your jumps. Move slowly. It's hard to tell the direction you should be going in. Watch carefully. The green blocks move on their own, so you'll have to keep up with them to avoid falling into the bottomless pit. Skull blocks will appear as you get close to them. Don't touch them or you'll have to start the whole ride over again. While you are avoiding these skulls, the bricks will fall out from under your feet. It's time to hurry up and make a run for it. This is your final green block roller coaster ride. If you stand still as the blocks stack, the game will move you on top of them automatically. The nerd works best against Bimmy and Jimmy, the level guardians. Shoot them as fast as you can while avoiding the claws and chainsaws. Beesman has a much easier time jumping over the spinning ball of spikes here. The falling ceilings will cause you a lot of damage. Take your time and run in between them. You shoot the axe throwers while they're still off screen with Guitar Guy. Use Beesman to two jump to this secret area. Here you can collect an elixir and two extra lives. The two jump also comes in handy while riding the moving platform. Watch out for the ghosts! Guitar Guy can run a little faster than everyone else. He is the best one to use when running in between these flashing skull blocks. Use the nerd's rocket gun to clear the hallway. Once you come out the other side, the platforms will start to crumble underneath you. Watch Jekyll and Hyde's pattern closely. Beesman's gun is his weakness. These flaming skulls will slowly follow you. It's better to defeat them right away. The giant burping demon can be beaten with Guitar Guy's gun with little effort. Ride the laser shooting shark and destroy everything in your path. Don't stutter here. Time your run underneath the arrows, climb the ladder, and grab the elixir. The level guardian is a giant demon. You can use Mike here, but we recommend Beesman. See this block? The blocks with the angry faces are deadly and will shoot spikes if you touch them. They can be very difficult to see, so be careful. Climb the waterfall by jumping from log to log. Mike's extra jumping height comes in handy here. Beesman's jump works too. Time your jumps so you avoid the bouncing faces and spikes. Grab the elixir when you get to the top. 
Use the gremlin's attack here so you can grab this elixir. Switch to Guitar Guy so you have his speed on your side. Now hurry! You might get hurt though when the spikes come up. You can stand here to avoid the unicorn's attack pattern. She will speed up as she takes more damage, but just keep firing and you'll get her. What's this? Another level? Get ready! This will be far more difficult than anything you've faced so far. Beastman's two jump will be your greatest ally in this beginning section. This area is tough, so pay attention to the patterns closely. Watch! Guitar Guy's extra speed is the best way to make it through these flashing skull blocks. The game is hitting you with everything it's got now. This part could take several tries. You can do it! Another surfboard! Avoid the P-missiles and skull blocks! You're almost there! You've made it to Fred's inner sanctum! He is very difficult, so give him everything you've got! Guitar Guy's ability to shoot through walls will come in handy here! Good luck! Congratulations, you've done it! Now that you've beaten the game, can you take on the harder difficulty levels? Thank you for watching How to Beat the Angry Video Game Nerds Adventures. If you want to play to win, look for more videotapes from the Game Masters at the Backlogery, wherever popular electronics are sold.